In this video, I will show you how to make a booking website on Shopify. So in order to do this first, of course, so for example, if you have a barber shop or a restaurant, whatever type of business you have, it can also be an online business. In this video, I'll just show you how you can use Shopify to create a booking website that actually looks very good. I'll show you how you can add your domain and just the entire step-by-step -step process you need to take. So first, of course, you'll need a Shopify account and a store. I've just created a brand new store right here. Now if you don't have an account yet, you can sign up to Shopify with the link in the description to get a 14 day free trial and your first month for only $1 on any of their plans. So that's really really cheap and then once you have created your account, what you want to do first is to open up your store and go to products right here. Now for this example, I'll say that I am a barber shop and right here you can see all of my products. So I have wash and cut men's hair and this one could be for example cut men's hair now you could have cut women's hair, whatever types of products you have. And the reason that you want to create a product for every single one is so that you can customize the pricing and the time that it takes. Because for example, you can imagine that, that washing and cutting men's hair takes for example 30 minutes, while cutting and dyeing a woman's hair may take an hour. So add every single variant of your product right here. And, and after you do that, what you want to go and do is click on apps right here. And then we are going to open up all recommended apps and click on the Shopify app store. Now once you're in the app store, search for booking app. Now the specific app that I use and I like is called Appointly right here. So I recommend this one. They have a free plan available and it is built for Shopify. They also have a 14 day free trial for any of their paid plans. So click install right here and then confirm by clicking install again. So now there is a couple of steps that you need to take. First you can read this, click next, then click next again. And now you need to enter the products that you want to add into this appointment booking service. So first I will just add the appointment right here. And I also want to add this one. So just add every single product. I'll add this one first and click add service. And I'll show you how you can add more products as many as you want and click next right here. Now you can choose to start a 14 day free trial. And after that's also only $5 per month, which is way cheaper than most of these other apps. For this, you get unlimited services, unlimited team members, a custom widget, and email template, customer cancellation and rescheduling, and reminder emails. I'll just start my free trial since I want this. But you can also click no thanks, I will switch later, or you can just keep using the free plan. So click approve right here, and then it will choose the payment method that you added to Shopify, and then it will just pay with the payment method you added to Shopify right here after your 14 day free trial. So now what we are going to do first is go to services right here to add all of our services. So we've already added this one, now we want to click add new service and just search for that service. So for me, this one I haven't added yet and I'll just click add service right there. So now you can see I have these two services. Now you can also have a hundred services right here, but I would keep it pretty simple because the people do need to pick from these services. So now what you want to go ahead and do is click edit on each of these services. And now you can choose to skip the payment. So if they need to pay in real life, you can just turn on skip payment right here. And now here for the default title, click open. And now you will see this. So first select the duration, so washing and cutting men's hair shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. So I'll block a 30 minute time frame for this. Now you can turn on any of these other options, so location type, enter your address right here. You can also set it to none or zoom. Now you can set buffer time settings, so before each appointment, amount of minutes, or after each appointment. I will set, let's say, 5 minutes after each appointment so that you have some time. For example, if the person needs to pay, then you have time before the next person comes in. Now you can do a cutoff time and you can read what it is right here. Now you can choose the maximum amount of future days they can book for. I will set this to 60 days. Now, if you have the pro plan, you can do all of this right here. Now, this is not really necessary. So just click on save once you're done. And now do this for every service. So while this one may take 30 minutes, the other one here, which is for example, dyeing and cutting a wound's hair, I'm also going to turn off skip payment. Now click open right here. And now this may take, for example, 90 minutes. So then set this one to 90 minutes. And then you can also change the other settings again and then click save. Now, if this takes 90 minutes, then you may want to go to products just open up this product right here and then change the price to a higher price. So for example, you can change this to 45 euros and click save. So now in products, make sure that all of these are set to active. So this one is a draft, so open it up, then click share right here and then click set as active. 
so that people can actually also use this service. So make sure the status on all of these is active. And now go back to the app right here, Appointly Booking. And now there's a couple more things you need to do before we can actually get started. And that is to go to Team right here. Now here you will see yourself, so click Edit and add in your own name. Now you can choose when you are available. So for example, if I'm not available Monday, I can just fully delete this. Then for example, Tuesday, I can be from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. So just go and customize that right here. And now you can choose specific dates that you are unavailable. So unavailable at select days, you need to have the pro plan. So for example, if you're going on vacation for 14 days in March, then you will need to select that. So then click save right there. And now you can add more team members. For example, if you have a different person that's also working in your team, then you can just add that person, add their email, and click on save. So now you have these team members and people can choose who they want to have their haircut done by. So then here you also have your calendar where you can see all of your appointments and I'll show you how this works, how people can actually book appointments. Then you have your bookings where you can also see the bookings. Then here when you click view more, you can turn on deposits. So you can click edit payment settings. And in order to do this, you need to upgrade to a plan. So for example, if you have a lot of people that don't show up, you can enable deposits. And for example, they need to five euros upfront so that even if they don't show up, you won't just have completely wasted a time. Then here in settings, you can choose your time zone. You can choose your customer contact email, time formats, I'll set this to 24 hours. And now you can choose to cancel booking if order is canceled. And then once you're done, click save. Now you can also customize the widget right here. So you can do the button text, so schedule your time, or you can set it to book your appointment, whatever you want. Then here you have the pop-up settings. So you can select every single text, etc. Then here you can turn on email notifications. So send to customers when they book an appointment is active. And now you can click customize template. So when somebody books an appointment, this is what they will see. They will automatically enter your shop name, your customer name, and your appointment service. And then they can just see when their exact date is and this is all done automatically so I'll just keep that how it is and you can see what exactly are the email notifications being sent for they also have SMS notifications for this you will need to buy some credits and they have integrations with zoom or Google Calendar for example but now I'll just show you how this works so if I go to my online store here and then click on view now I'll just go to my catalog so you can just have your product list so I have appointment and then wash and cut men's hair now you may want to add some nice pictures etc to this so just add every single product so for me I would probably have a filter for men's and women's products so now for example if I want to wash and cut my hair I will click on this one and now here you will see schedule your time now of course you want to turn off the quantity as well but now just click schedule your time and then this pop-up will show up so now what they can do is choose a date so for example right here Dani is not available on Mondays and you can see that right here however if I have multiple team members and I would choose a different one then you can also choose Monday for example if they are available on Monday so now for the service you may also want to customize this and now they can pick a time slot for example if I want to do Friday right here from 14.30 until 3 I'll click book now now they must enter their full name and email and now they can click book now right here. And if you have turned on deposits, for example, then they will also need to make a deposit. So now they will see this right here. Your booking is confirmed. We have sent you a confirmation email with appointment details. So now if I open up my email, you will see that now automatically I have received this email where it says the date and what and what is done on that date. Now you want to customize this, my store section, so that this is actually your store. Now here you will see their, your name. This is the name they added in. Your appointment for whatever service they bought is on the exact date that they bought it for. So this is really great. And if you also add the location, they will also be able to see that right here. And it will be sent from the email you created your Shopify account with. Now, if you upgrade to the pro plan, you, you can also choose to use a different custom email but for now this is fine for me so now where you can see that a person has booked an appointment is right here in apps when you go to appoint the booking and then if you go to your calendar right here you will now see that friday which is when i chose from 14 30 until 3 and if i just hover over it with my mouse you will see wash and cut men's hair for this person at this time for this duration and you can also see it right here in bookings 
So you will see the booking right here. And now you can also click manage booking and then you can reschedule it or cancel it if you want to do that for some reason. And now here, when you go to home, you will see the total bookings, the total upcoming bookings. And when this booking is done, you will see the revenue. So they, so they know this product is 30 euros or this service. So then once they have paid for it after the booking time, this will show 30. So this is a very good app in my opinion, and I really like it. So just follow the steps that I showed you in this video, and then you will be able to do bookings on your Shopify store for your service-based business or for online meetings, whatever you want. Again, if you want to get started with a 14-day free trial and get your first month of Shopify on any plan for only $1, you can use my link down in the description to sign up. So now you know how to make a booking website on Shopify. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.